Casa Bonita, Casa Bonita. Food and fun in a festive atmosphere, Casa Bonita. Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And today we're bringing you to something different. That's right. One of the most iconic restaurants in Denver, Colorado. Some might even call it... The world's greatest restaurant. <laughs> That's right. We are here at Casa Bonita in Denver, Colorado. It's one of the restaurants I've come to since I was a kid, brought my own kids to it. Just something I'm super excited to try out again. And I actually know of it just from the show South Park. <laughs> and what's fun is Trey Parker and Matt Stone, who created South Park, actually bought the restaurant two years ago. They've been renovating it, spent $40 million to get it up and running again. And we're here for the soft reopening. Let's go. This Saturday for my birthday, my mom says she's taking me to Casa Bonita in Denver. Wow, Casa Bonita! Woohoo! It's a big Mexican restaurant, but they have like cliff jumpers and Black Bart's Cave and all kinds of stuff. It's like the Disneyland of Mexican restaurants. All right, so there's two different ways. You could either do traditional dining or cliffside dining. We are doing cliffside. As Josh mentioned, this has recently been repurchased and remodeled. A lot of work went into it. They've started their soft opening in June of 2023. I believe I got on the list for reservations back in May. You had to just sign up your email. I didn't get notification until November to be able to pick a date. The QR code was good for 90 days and got to pick a date that worked for us. Now, we're here on a weekend. The price is a little bit more for lunch. It's $39.99 for adults. but. Cliffside Dining gets to where they actually come wait on you instead of having to go cafeteria style. You're right by the waterfall and it costs an extra five bucks. So we paid the extra five bucks to have the Cliffside Dining. And we did read that this is uh, like the cliffs of Acapul Acapulco. Acapulco, I think is what you That's said. That's what I'd yep. say. So there should be cliff divers every 20 minutes. Yep. I'm excited for that. Look at this place. It's so, it's one of the coolest themed restaurants I think I've ever been to. Yeah. And it just brings back so many childhood memories. It's so cool. Um, and then if you're talking about prices, um, so if you do want to have alcoholic drinks, there is, uh, looks like drinks for $13, beers for $7, or 7 to $9. Yeah, the $45 not only gets you the cliffside dining, but it gets you an entree, chips and salsa, and sopapillas, and um, soda. And soda, yeah. It's pretty, the menu is a little bit different than it used to be, they but it's say, supposed to be better food. It's supposed to be better food. The guy, when he was walking in, says, if you've been here before, it's supposed to smell better and the food tastes better. And yeah. I can tell you, it already does smell better, and I'm just hoping the food tastes better. Yeah, this place was known for the environment, not necessarily <laughs> the food. That's true. So here's a little closer look at the menu. It does come with a fixed price. So you got enchiladas, carnitas tacos, chicken mole, beef sword, suadero. Chili relleno, ceviche, and taco salad. And then there's 12 and under. Chips and salsa and sopapillas are free. Um, the first round of so sopapillas. They used to be um, like unlimited. Eat. Yeah. You would just have to put up this flag over here, which they still have, where if you need any help, they just have you raise the flag. I think but that's, they used to do the unlimited sopapillas to make up for the terrible Mexican food. That might be the truth. <laughs> But now, if you want a second, third, fourth, fifth uh, basket of sopapillas, it's a buck. I mean, that's not bad for four yeah. sopapillas. We could have a few of those for that. All right, so the food is out like that. So um, fast. It is a smaller menu. It is like, there's a ton of people waiting outside. Um, so I went with the carnitas. I'm always a sucker for those. So it did got, have a little um, spicy thing next to it too, so I'm wondering if there's going to be some heat. These are very hot. Those must be warm. <laughs> um, I can tell you the refried, refried green beans look disgusting. Yeah, they look like a scooped up refried beans. They are. <laughs> um, so I don't know how much I'm going to try those. I might try them, but I'm not expecting the most out of them. But you can see the pork does shred real nice and easy. Yeah, it does. I can already tell you by looking at these plates. 
This food is not the same food they used to serve. Right. Now, they <laughs> used to serve basically like cafeteria style food. Yeah, cafeteria style. You remember those banquet uh, TV, TV dinners. dinners that are really yucky because they were a dollar? That's about what you used to get. I'm going to go ahead and throw some of this coleslaw on there. Give it a little texture difference. Yeah. I think so too. Maybe a little salsa. Let's try it. I love the mariachi band in the back, the waterfalls. Like I said earlier, it just brings back childhood memories, so this is super fun for me. That's pretty good. So it is a corn tortilla, nice, soft. It's holding up. There was a, ter a tear before I actually put food in it. Oh, okay. So I'm not holding that against it. The meat has good flavor. It's, it's moist. I think it's pretty good. Good. Now, we, we had very low expectations for the food. That's true, we did. Because we're really here for the environment. Yeah, I mean, and, it's just a really neat environment. And we haven't even gotten to get into all the rest of the stuff. Yeah, this is truly just to sit down and eat before we explore the rest of the restaurant. All right, I went with chicken mole. Again, this is not what I was used to seeing when we ate here before as kids. And I agree with Josh, I'm not interested in the uh, refried beans whatsoever. <laughs> but the chicken tears apart nicely. It looks like it's chicken breast. Yeah, it does look like it's chicken breast. No tortillas served with this, so just the three pieces of chicken with it, the rice, beans, and then a coleslaw. All right, a little bit dry on the chicken, but otherwise really good flavor. It's got a nice kick to it. Not as sweet, smoky flavor as um, some of the moles I'm used to, but that's, that's decent. That's really good. And as we mentioned earlier, we didn't have high expectations, so for it to even be good and edible, I'll take that. I like it. I'm gonna watch the cliff divers first. Maybe if I tell them it's my birthday, they'll let me cliff dive in the pool. Oh, that would be so badass. All right, time for sopapillas. Oh, it looks like I got a big one. <laughs> yes, you did. Oh man, and it's dripping. It's dripping. Yeah, they put the honey on for you, which is weird to me because I usually like to put it on myself. Yeah, this is definitely the, if you're coming here for food, it's for sopapillas, honestly. Yeah, very light, airy. They're not oh, thick at all. Super. Yeah, they're very tasty. The honey is very good. They're hot. That's what I really like about them. Josh, we're, I think we're going to have to get a second set. Maybe three, yeah. four, five of them. <laughs> they're delicious. All right, as far as the entrees went, uh, the carnitas was the way to go. Josh's was the way to go. But I got it had more flavor and it was moist. Yeah, and I got tortillas with mine and made it into a little taco itself. It was really good. Yeah, <clears throat> I thought those, the mole was very dry though. Yeah, those pork carnitas were delicious. Yeah, <laughs> they were really and the, the rice and beans? Nope. <laughs> no, that's still very cafeteria style. Agreed, but unlimited soda? Yeah, there I'll we go. I'll take that too. And we're about to get dollar sopapillas <laughs> over and over and over. That's true. the big reason why people come to Casa Bonita generally. It's for all the other things. So here we're in the arcade. They make their own root beer here. You can see they got some ski ball and a shooting range. I think we're gonna have to do some shooting. I think so too. But we're gonna search this place for a while, I think. Um, when you do get up from your table, they clean it off and you are out. 
Uh, it, they used to allow you to like kind of come back to your table, not anymore. But let's shoot some donkeys. It does not appear they make their own root beer, but I'm definitely gonna get some. But this is good looking stuff. We're hoping to get some uh, a card to be able to do the shooting range. All right, so I'm going with the Tommy Knocker. You do get a commemorative mug, and it's a little over ten bucks. Souvenir mug. Just Souvenir for you. mug. <laughs> All right, so it's five dollars, and Rachel is up. Twenty-four shots or sixty seconds. I'm gonna go sixty seconds. Are you getting stuff? Yeah, the lights are going off. All right, she got 31.95. I did the 60 seconds. All right, we'll see who can win this because I just got a good score, 31.95. But Josh is doing a you different ready? gun. Yeah, he's gonna wish he picked my gun. Well, you should try. Your to gun is donkey. fast. Are you aiming? <laughs> oh, he pees on you. Yeah. Ah! Like literally just got wet. Josh, that thing peed on me. Yeah, that's right. I'm seriously wet from my shirt. I'll right. do it again. <laughs> oh, that one got me. Oh. oh, you were way better. Look at who's got the better score. Yeah, I don't think it accounts for accuracy. But look at my shirt. Yeah, yeah. you're all moist. Because <laughs> that little thing peed on me over there. I kept shooting him. Adios, amigos. All right, we're going to go keep checking out this place. It does look beautiful, honestly. Oh, there's a musician right there. Gift shop. So behind the waterfall, there's a tarot card reader. There's a caricature drawer over here. And then there's a puppet show, which I believe they say that you can't film the puppet show, so. We'll save that one for you. And then there's definitely not Black Bart's hideout up there. All right, so like I said, the uh, puppet show, it is not to be recorded. No pictures can be taken. Um, your seating area is right here. It's definitely child-oriented, but it kind of pokes fun at like the old food that they had here. It was actually pretty cute, so I would say come check it out. All right, we are headed to Black Bart's Hideout. Cartman said it's really cool, so we got to go. Go through Black Bart's cave right away because we're gonna want to do it seven or eight times. Aliens from planet Vulcan are going to get you. Carmen's table. All right, so if you go on the other side of the cliff divers, you can find Carmen here. And we're gonna get our picture taken. Double beers, please. Check that out. That's very cool.
There's a museum to talk about the history of this. Here's the original menu that shows all you can eat. Not quite that anymore. We just finished up here at Casa Bonita. Was it everything you were expecting? It, it was a nice childhood memory relived, yes. I think they've done a great job inside. You can definitely tell in all the details. They put a lot of money and a lot of time into this revamp. Yeah. The, the building is immaculate. Yeah. It's beautiful. Um, the food, it's good, not great. Yeah. Um, you're not... It's better than it was. Yeah, there, there's sure. going to be definitely better food that you can find in town. But the experience is really cool. Yeah, it is really cool. Thanks. Thanks so yes. much. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly Twitter. All our links are down below. See ya.